So I like to save little snippets of different types of textured yarn and I'll take a two ply hand spun and make a third ply out of this just by cutting pieces of each and tying them together and spin them in. So I'm going to make a magic ball so to speak out of this. So here's our two balls of hand spun and this is the quote unquote magic ball with all the pretty stuff in it and all we're going to do is tie these three together and spin to the left as a ply. Just a simple knot and then I like to put them in a bowl so that they don't roll all over the place. I like to ply with the art yarn to the left. That way it wraps on the outside as opposed to the inside and getting lost so you for sure see the carry thread. And here we have the finished result. I really like these because there's so much texture and visual interest. This is the fiber that made this and I also spun a different type of two ply. This is just an extreme thick and thin that you ply and you get these kind of lovely soft puffy coils. I typically like to only spin the thick sections at a color change because I think it makes a more dynamic puff than if it was solid colored. So yeah, those are two ways to spice up your spinning. If you're not really into core spun or you're Mac, you don't have a flyer that would fit.